This is a battle in the Age of Charlemagne. I have an army here without cavalry. It's not by choice. Uh, the Dane army has no cavalry. Uh, so, <laughs> apparently, uh, during the last days of the Roman Empire, the Danes were prolific cavalrymen, able to field some of the best heavy cavalry in the world, but then they forgot all about it later in history and started fighting exclusively on foot. Or at least in the Creative Assembly's version of history, that is. So what I have here is a bona fide Viking army. I have Levy Freeman. I have Levy Freeman as the Vikings. I mean, the the Creative Assembly listen to me. They they rarely listen, but when they do, it's glorious. And they they brought in my Levy Freeman. They knew I wouldn't buy the DLC if it wasn't for the Levy Freeman. So I have a front line of Levy Freeman. Four Levy Freeman. No precursors, but who cares? They're Levy Freeman. Then I have Sword Hirdman, Hird Mother, two of those. Big axes. Four units of Dane Axe, big axes. No bonus versus infantry here, but who needs a bonus versus infantry when you have an 87 charge bonus and 50 melee damage? And in Charlemagne, this is enough to one shot infantry units any day of the week if they don't have enough armor to stop it. Then I have Axe Hirdman, and yes, these units are positively Viking quite like them. Um, I have, uh, I think I have, uh, let's see, I have four Axe Herdmen as well. Then I have some Berserkers. Finally, they gave the Berserkers some armor, a, a shitload of armor actually. Um, and now they might be worth bringing 150 health, more than standard infantry. We'll see how they do. And a few Jav units. This is how the Danes, the Saxons, countered cavalry by throwing a lot of arrows at them and forming shield balls, so that's cool. And here are my dwarven bearded housecarls, Huskartlar. 95 charge bonus, 60 armor, just the stats are... In Charlemagne they are very good. So Obelix is commanding the Lombards. He has a front line of Lombard horsemen, Lombard lancers, Note that the charge bonuses are much lower here. Much lower charge bonuses, lower health values. He also has Levy Spearman, but he doesn't have Levy Freeman. So uh, he's fucked. Lombard Clubman. Bonus against infantry, 20 melee damage. Some Lombard Clubman here as well. They don't have a lot of armor. And then his third line is Swordsman. So Obelix doesn't have any skirmishers, but he does have multiple lines of of uh, infantry. I'm rushing for the forest. I see a lot of cavalry. I'm thinking this is Attila and I'm royally fucked. I haven't played in a while so you'll see me mess up my controls a bit here. Uh, I have my army nice and ordered but look at what I'm doing here. Holy shit, this is what happens when you don't play in a while. So I have to quickly reorganize my army. I don't can't hide behind the safety of precursors and Obelix's cavalry is starting to surround me so I'm thinking what the hell, I'll send out some uh, I'll send out some Levy Freeman together with these guys, try to draw the cavalry in. Uh, but I'm not responding appropriately here. The medium melee cavalry is getting, it looks like it's going to be getting a charge on my berserkers here. But it's a bit of a weird charge, they didn't really get the charge. As apparent by their complete lack of kills almost, so they sort of ran into my men. The berserkers are able to charge them. Uh, they're frightened, they're going to be losing men, so since I have my spear support here, the cav isn't going to want to engage, and they lost so much here. So let's see, here come the Lombard Lancers, let's see if they can do better. Uh, yeah, they're getting some kills here actually. Nothing major, like what you would see in, the, in Attila, but they are still getting kills. But look at how quickly they're dropping to my Levy Freeman and my associated units because a 20 bonus versus cav when the cav only has 150 armor that's uh, that's going to hurt them a bit so already obelix's cav units have taken a pounding over here as well this 180 skirmish unit is has done a lot of damage to the to the gustald cavalry and uh, paid for itself very handsomely by being uh, being an easy target so not bad at all thus far so I figure if I use these skirmishers to screen, then maybe I can get the Levy Freeman into the fight. Just picking away at the cavalry so far. 
And cavalry charges much, much less devastating in Charlemagne than they are in than they are in Attila, and I quite like this. Like, when in Attila would you see this? Like, two armies standing, facing each other, one uh, one army trying to get itself ordered, standing, cheering, jeering at the enemy. I know I might be a bit too excited, because this is my first battle in Charlemagne, but I have to say, I've enjoyed it, and it probably has something to do with being the Danes as well. Now that was one of my uh, that was one of my uh, skirmishers that got a bit too far ahead and got hammered by the Gestalt cavalry. But I'm going to try to screen them now with my skirmishers. I screen the with the Levy Freeman. I mean, try to get the try to get the cavalry in here because I want to engage the cavalry. I'm trying to use both skirmishers and spears to stop from being surrounded in a bad way. Ideally, I want to start engaging, and now I'm making the push. Some of the cavalry is being screened away on the flanks here, and I want Obelix to engage this unit. Because if he engages this unit, that means that my whole advance here is going to be uninterrupted by cavalry. So I'm going to feint, send in the Levy Freeman, so they don't go in here and cause havoc. Now the Lombard horsemen, they just crapped all over my skirmishers. But... Um, as long as they're not attacking my important belly units, I'm happy. Levy Freeman, charging here. Uh, now it's time for some MLG stuff. Charging into the Lombard Clubman with the, with the big axes. The big axes throw them down. I'm pulling away the Levy Freeman and then going in with the big axes. So these Lombard Clubmen are going to drop something fierce. They're essentially just going to disintegrate. So I lost a few Levy Freeman, but I don't really care. They did their job. The big axes are racking up the kills here against the Lombard Clubman. So already breaking, meaning I can get a second charge in. This is just ideal for my big axes. They're getting a second charge in on the Swordsman. They have a great charge bonus, the Swordsman do not. So in this case it might have been better to go into Shield Wall, but uh, the big axes are just dealing the damage and I haven't even supported them here. I want to see how well these units can do on their own. Meanwhile, the cavalry is running around in my back lines, but it's very depleted. I'm engaging here. 200 kills already for the big axes. Now, if there were skirmishers here, my big axes would not, would not be able to do this. What they're doing here. They just wouldn't be able to do it. Sending in the Berserkers here, trying to do some damage with the Berserkers. And, uh, yeah, ooh, the, the Berserker got decapitated by a clubman. That's always a bad day when your head flies off due to being hit by a club. And the big axes, 200 kills here, 200 kills here, 200 kills here. They've just smashed through the units. And in no small part because they were allowed to do so behind the Levy Freeman screen. Never underestimate the, uh, the Levy Freeman. Now the big axes are probably going to die here because they got rail charged by cavalry. And they do drop. They do drop very, very quickly. So a big axe unit is off the field. The berserkers are doing damage. The house carls running about haven't done much yet. So now I'm trying to get a good charge in with the house carls. This, this big axe unit is going to lose. So I'm going to have to send in the house cars to finish off the swordsman. And they're going to do so very easily. Look at the kills on the house cars. Lombards running away from my mighty Danes. The big axes are 279 kills after they get creamed. And look at how I've not even supported my army here. It's just the axes going through line after line of infantry. And this is what happens when you have shock infantry and the enemy doesn't have a wall of precursors. Berserkers going berserk, about 100 kills here, nothing major. But I think the fair effect could be important in breaking these units. The house cars still chopping through these levy spearmen. These axe herdmen haven't even fought yet. Now here come the Lombard Lancers about to deliver a rear charge. I don't have any cavalry, so I can't really stop this. Now my axe herdmen got charged in the rear, and uh, that hurt them. That hurt them bad. They are going to lose here. But I, since I have so much infantry, I can afford to be a bit reckless with my infantry. Here come the tanky sword herdmen. 
and the enemy general is in trouble now. My house calls are just cleaning house, pun intended. Two hundred kills now. It seems like a double-handed axes. If there are no enemy skirmishers, double-handed axes are pretty good. Sword herdmen fighting levy spears downhill. The enemy general is dead, so now it's just a matter of mopping up the units. This has been a proper battle. This has been a good, good battle. Getting charged in the rear here by the Lombard horsemen again. The Lombard horsemen are getting kills. They are being used well now by Obelix in rear charging. But the sword herdmen and the the, the effect of having the general dead is going to mean that the, the, the horsemen are going to rout. Lombard lancers still staying in the fight, but only barely. They don't have a lot of armor, they don't have a lot of melee defense. So they're going to die quickly to my sword herdmen. The house carls are still at large at 259 kills. Always nice when a unit breaks 300 kills, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that now. We are going to get a heroic last stand, stand of the guardsmen. Very heavily armored, very high melee defense. This is the last charge. The guardsmen are steady because their morale is impressive. The axe herdmen are chopping through them though. But it's interesting because these uh, guardsmen have a very nice charge bonus. And uh, their stats are very heavily geared towards defense. So they are killing some axe herdmen here. It's nice to see a spare unit doing some damage. But, I mean, they're all that's left in the Lombard army, and there are too many Danes left on the battlefield. Just as the house carls are about to deliver the rear charge, they break. Close victory there for the Danes without having any cavalry. It's not that the cavalry of Obelix did that poorly, if you look at the kills. The Lombard clubs, they just could not hang with the big axes. 244, uh, 243, 279, 256, 264. This battle was carried by the Dane axe. Fittingly enough, me commanding the Danes. Berserkers did decently well. One Berserker didn't even fight. Uh, but I think it's going to be a lot easier to use all infantry armies in in uh, in this. And it's a bit weird because during the early medieval period, uh, during the follow, uh, during the lead up to the medieval period and in the medieval period, cavalry became increasingly more powerful. And what we've just seen is cavalry take a massive step back in effectiveness versus infantry, which I like because now you have to use cavalry much more strategically to deliver rear charges. You can't just send cavalry into an infantry unit and just smash the entire unit, which is nice. And uh, you can see that Obelix played this like Attila in the beginning, because this was our first battle. So he played it like Attila, and he just, I mean, the, even the even the spears do a decent job here. So, so far, the balancing in Charlemagne, hard to say something concise about it from just having played one game. Uh, but um, the pace certainly feels different. And the lack of precursors on many infantry units, I think it's a nice addition because it means that while cavalry is less powerful, uh, you can use it more safely and um, you won't just run into the precursor brain of death from multiple lines of infantry. So good battle there. Uh, thanks to Oblix for that one. I will play some more and upload them. I'll try to use some cavalry myself to see to see, to see how well the, the cavalry does now in... in um, in um, Charlemagne, because the elite cavalry is very expensive. Some of these spare units are insanely cheap. But I wouldn't go... I mean, it would seem like kind of an obvious choice against the Danes to bring skirmishers, because they don't have any cavalry, so uh, you're presumably going to have a very easy time doing a lot of damage to their double-handed axe units, but we'll see. Strength and honor.